Yo, it's your man Gentleman here, and today's episode of Blogcast is being sponsored by the good folks over at bloggers.com. Bloggers.com keeps you up to date with the most current news, music, and entertainment that's floating in the net. That's bloggers.com, B L X G G E R S.com. And also, don't forget to follow them on Instagram and Facebook at bloggers, B L X G G E R S. Now, enjoy today's episode. What is that? Oh. Oh, what is that? Your ice maker. Oh, it just sounds different in here. It, that's what it is? Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Are we going? Yeah. We live, baby. We live. We live. Yeah. Um. So it's your man, gentlemen, here. And in replacement for Mr. Zabo, because he had to go handle some family business out of town. You know, got to get that father time in with the family. Is the homie. Turricane, aka Tiff. That's me, Turricane. Hey, aka, hey. I just received my bachelor's degree. Hey, you already know. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good, man. I mean, it's been a long time coming. It only took eleven years, but you know, it happens. Who's counting? Nobody but you. Me and fi- financial aid, probably. Yeah. They probably counting. Like, damn, finally. <laughs> um, so you graduated from FIU. I did. And it was a it was a journey. It was a journey, man. It's not even uh, over yet, but you know, you just keep going, and some people uh, find their spot a little bit later in life, and that's right. okay. True. So, what's the next step? Next step is a nursing program, man. About to go ahead and do this second degree. Word up. Yeah, move on to the third master's, and you know, make this money. So this is your first time, obviously, on the podcast. It is. It is. You nervous? I'm a little nervous, man. You know, it's kind of here we're weird. Hearing my voice for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think everybody's like that. I know I, I, I didn't wasn't too fond of my voice uh, when I first did it. Yeah, bro. You see that neighbor? She bad. You see her walk past? Yeah, no, you yeah, saw her. Yeah, she yeah. real pretty. But go ahead. Sorry. Is she sing? No, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Um. <laughs> so what? 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 I mean, are, are you are you okay now? Are you still a little nervous about your voice? Like what? What? Man, a little I, insecure about your voice? What? Not necessarily insecure. I, I I just knew it was going to be weird. I've been aware of my voice for like years since I was a kid. I've always had a very deep voice. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and then the whole, like y'all talked about in the last podcast, I talk white, I'm black, <laughs> I'm a female, I curse a lot, my voice is deep, everybody every time I answer the phone, you sleep? No, nah, nigga, this is just how I sound. Anybody who's listening that has talked to me on the phone, but hey, Tiff, you sleep? Nope, nigga, just waking up. This just is normal. Normal as can be, right? Normal as can be. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, so hopefully nobody's out there, you know, judging me too bad right now in my voice. No, nah, I mean, how you sound now is how we always hear it. It's the same <laughs> old, same old, same old, just you are same hearing it. Same old GT. Dog, that song was just on. As soon as I said that, I thought about that song. Really? You have to think about it. That's a classic, man. But Absolutely. I used to replace it and say same old T. T? Yeah. What does the T mean? Nigga, what's my name, dog? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a loser. That's all right. That's all right. So where did Zabo go? Um, I don't know exactly. I know he said he was I think he was going down south. Mm, I just came from there. Yeah, I think he's going I think like family vacation type thing. You know, mm-hmm. spend some time with the family. You True know. That. No, I well, I don't know about that. Well, but you, okay. Yeah. You know, spend some time with the family and you know, just Relax a little bit. Something I need to do soon. Cause you better. I'm exhausted, dog. As a matter of fact, I am. When? What? Uh, you going weekend. somewhere? Yeah. Where are you going, dog? I'm going down south, man. I don't I'm, believe you. Dog. I'm dead serious. You. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop my boy off, and I'm just gonna be down there chilling. Dang, that's what's up, man. Yeah, y'all, man. y'all don't know Ant, man. Ant don't go nowhere. Well, it's by force ish, but you know, I'm living life now. That's what I like to hear. Cause you yeah. know, I stay going. Balls on the walls now, dog. Balls on true, the walls. True. I was trying to come up with a saying as a female that would, you know, go with that, but I, I can't. I can't come up with um, that. Um, let your tits out. But I want to do something like on a surface. I mean, you have your balls on the wall. I want to have my tits on shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> tits on shit. There you go. Word. But yeah, you got to go, man. You got to live life a little bit. See the world. See the state. Yeah. Definitely Whatever. open up a little bit, you know. This year is a big change with so much things, so many things that I'm doing. Right. You know, and I have so a big, you know, dream. Of mm-hmm. course, me and Zabo got our collabs with certain things, certain businesses. Right, right. So you know, you know, just making things happen. 
Make it happen, Captain. So the one thing um, about you and I, I think that makes our friendship so uh, close and deep is we have the same balance with music. True enough. Right. We pretty much like the same thing. Yeah. Pretty much vibe to the same thing. Yeah. So how do you feel about this? I don't know if you've seen it. This whole Joe Budden and Lil Yachty. Um, oh man, I know nothing about this. Please enlighten me. Um, I'm not a fan of Lil Yachty. He the one with the red hair. Yeah. And Drake said something about what the same um, something about the same little boat. Shout but, out to Lil Yachty, but the same little boat. boat. Right. Yeah, that one. Um. <laughs> I'm not a fan of his music, but he does make hip music. Okay. Now, if you like it or not, that's your opinion, but he makes, uh, it's pretty catchy. I give it to him. Okay. And Joe Budden being the, in a sense, bitter old man. Old school, yeah. Is saying that, the way I took out of it at least, that he's ruining hip hop or the fact that he's not always happy. Little Yachty isn't always happy? Right. After Little Yachty said that he is happy and Joe Budden called him a liar, which I, I don't know. I mean- it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, if he's happy, I mean, he's making music. He's happy. He's, um, I don't know. Wait, so hold on. Hold on. You know, you, you got to break it down for me. So Joe Budden. Mm-hmm. T- wait, pump, pump, pump it up. That guy. The only song he ever okay. came out with. <laughs> Him. All right. And then Lil Yachty, where it, which, what's, give me his, one of his songs. Um, he has a song with that dude, Kyle, I Spy. Okay. Yeah. 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 The I Spy with my with, little um, line. What's that dude named? The broccoli joint. Oh, um, in the middle of the party, please get yeah. off of me. Is, the song's called Broccoli, right? Yeah, it is yeah, called Broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no damn. Right, right, okay. right. Okay. So then, and he's also one with the red hair who has like the very inclusive um, album cover, correct? Yeah. Okay. So then, Common, I'm not Common, whoa, <laughs> wrong light skin, brother. <laughs> They're all waffle colored. Same hey, thing. Same thing. Right, right, right. So Joe Budden is like, hey, you new school rappers are ruining the the hip hop culture and towards little yachty right that's what i got of it okay and then little yachty was like no i'm not and i'm happy he's just being himself he's just be having fun making music okay people are obviously liking it right right so okay joe budden's claiming that he can't be happy all the time <laughs> is this what new age like hip hop beef has become I'm happy. No, you're not, nigga. Let's die. Like, what was... I, I, I guess. Okay. It's, it's, it's weird. It is a little strange. I don't even understand why this is a... Why Why was this trending? Because... It, uh, uh, because, I mean, Joe Budden was acting like a bitter old old, old man or old rapper. Right, it, right. To me, personally, it sounded like he was almost, to a degree, hating. True enough. To a degree. Mm-hmm. Because the fact that he... Yachty is making, realistically, at least to my personal opinion, he's making kind of poor hip-hop music okay it's not something that we grew up listening to you know with content real but see, content you can say that and see this is why i try to like look at it from both sides mm-hmm. we're approaching our 30s i like to say that you know we're no longer in our late 20s we are now in our almost 30s because that's what the fuck it has become you know mm-hmm. so and both of us being in our almost 30s we're going to have a little bit harder of a time relating to some music that comes out by newer, younger artists. Right. Okay. And Joe Budden is older than us, Mm -hmm. but you have to realize the same, every generation I'm assuming is vibing to some dumb shit that they dig. Right. Remember what we were listening to dog. And I'm, and I know he wasn't like, you know, God sent hip hop artists, but we Mm -hmm. were listening to soldier boy in the club. (laughs) You you know what I'm saying? And you know, like people that were our parents were listening like, what the hell you yeah. know or even like our cousins who may have been like seven eight years older than us they was like that ain't no biggie that ain't no tupac right, you know right, no right. no Nas. you know what i'm saying so like we i'm not gonna judge Lil yachty but his making his music because it's just not my it's not my thing you know mm-hmm. and for common i feel like the same or not why i keep saying common they're all waffle color they, i just keep picturing them but Those he must they're, they're yeah, all common, khaki colored he must be talking about me child he must <laughs> be talking about me but um but yeah so for joe budden to to, to come at him and be like you're ruining hip-hop hip-hop is ever changing right, just right. like there for every for every little yachty there's a uh a j cole you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And J. Cole ain't really the same age bracket. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just... Still that same age. Yeah, era. there's just... There's going to be a good artist as well. It's just... There's going to... I mean, just like... You had your Michael Jordans and you had your Dennis Rodmans. You know? Uh, <laughs> LeBron. 
ones. I no, guess. I meant more so. I like, meant like there was a good, there was a one that was like straight elite, edge and good. And right. there was one now, I mean, y'all remember what Dennis Rodman was doing back in the day? Yeah, this nigga okay. had his nails painted and mesh colored shit oh, on. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, talking yeah. About so, yeah, like, yeah. that was weird. And I'm sure the, the Magic Johnson people was like, what the hell, this nigga? You know True, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just, it's a generation and people are young and they do what the fuck they want to do when they're right, young. Right. I mean, I had a damn grill. What did you do? I know you did some dumb shit. Oh, man. Streaking. Uh, what else? Yeah, I did some. Well, not, I wasn't too off, but I, I get where you're coming but from. But you think about the clothes you wore. Like the hairstyles you had. You yeah, would never braids, do that. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I mean, I was rocking a grill. I thought I was hood. You know, I really did for a little bit there. Right. You know, and it's just, it's just. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. I, I mean, so, again, just like you just said, I mean, I, I, I can't sit here and say that I, 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 Lil Yachty does have some songs that are pretty okay. He got a song that I just heard with the Migos. I think it's called um, Peekaboo. Okay. Lyrically, content wise is it the best eh, maybe not but the beat was yeah, pretty hard and go. their flow was pretty good okay. you know so i mean i i for you know i don't know why joe budden came off so bitter i mean i get it you don't you don't feel the type of music that he's making i can't you know you can't get mad at joe budden for that you know it's like me being from the south me being from the <laughs> South, not really feeling too much of the East Coast. I mean, we're in two different. Where the East Coast? Like New York. Oh, like you Boston mean like rap. North. Or North. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, nigga, we the East Coast, bro. No, okay. Uh, I see what you're saying. I thought. Okay, go ahead. I see what you're saying. You don't really rock with Northern rappers. Like you, when we were growing up, you was on Lil Wayne. You wasn't really digging Jay Z like that. Yeah, I wasn't like or or, or freaking um Freeway. Freeway got yeah. the hood on Smash. Yeah, like, I who mean, the fuck is this? I mean, I, I knew mean, who Freeway was. Yeah. But I mean, like he might you know, have a he might have a song that you vibe to on the radio, but you wasn't about to listen to his album. Right, right. right. So I mean, I I get where Joe Bun is coming from. You know, you don't like the content, and of course, like the album cover is kind of weird. Not, I mean, that's a whole other thing in itself. The album cover is relating to the times. I had a conversation with with uh dave last night mm -hmm. we were watching uh has any have you been watching um dear white people i've heard it and okay. i am i do plan on watching it all right well knowing the way that you are there are going to be some things that are hard for you to digest because this show just isn't about the inequalities that black people face it's talking about all minorities and that is gay people that is asian people that is women you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's relating to all that and and watching it um dave was like oh, i just don't understand why they're just showing so many like gay dudes all the time oh, but man. that is what that that's it's always been there they just didn't show it just like they didn't show a lot of black people in in, in uh, advertisement and things of that sort yeah. it's just getting to the point where we have to realize that there's more than what you're accustomed to seeing and if you're going to be upset about seeing a gay man then that's kind of going against what you're saying if you want a black man to be more noticed i mean unless you bring the whole religion and all that which we will yeah. not do but just saying like every there, you just can't expect to only see what you want to see yeah. broadcast or advertised right or represented i guess because you know hip-hop at least from joe budden's pr perspective from his era right or his age group it's right. always been like that hardcore but why? man's man but why because that's just the way we was we brought up. I mean, we're still kind of in that era too. Well, yeah, we're that's still kind of in that era yeah. too. Like, I don't. And if anybody listens to this, that I hope you don't get offended. Of course, y'all know how I am. I don't know if I want to hear too much about men kissing men. I don't want to hear stories about that. I don't want to hear rappers talk about that a lot. I mean, it's one thing if you talk about a specific story about it, but I don't want to constantly hear about that. I'm a man's man. I want to hear about manly stuff as far so, as like what, bitches and, and money and drugs not necessarily like that but like how a man is supposed to raise his family or take care of his family and stuff mm -hmm. like that. i don't want to hear about you know a man having to work hard to take care of his boyfriend it just seems weird i get that i do i and i, and I try to be super open-minded but at the same time you just i hate to be oppressive against one group of people and then expect equality for another, you mm. know, like, I, I don't want to sit here and be like, you know, no, you can't grab our pussies, our pussies grab back. But then <laughs> if there's a girl making out with another girl on TV, I'm like, that shit is nasty. You mm. know, like, I yeah. just don't want to be that type of person. Right. So granted, I may not want to hear about a man, you know, 
kissing another man or providing for his family and his family being a, a family of a two man household. I may not want to hear those things. I'm not accustomed to hearing those things, but I'm not going to be objective and think that it's bad or talk shit about it or anything like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's just how I feel about it. But I think that with Joe, with Joe Budden, he, you just can't, you know, things change and things yeah. evolve and shit isn't always going to be the way it was. If it, I mean, well, I was going to say that's just not the way that things happen, but in Trump's world, clearly you yeah. just make that shit great again and then boom, it's back to what it used to be. But that's not the way that things are supposed to be. Things are supposed to evolve and change. And we as people just have to go with the flow and you do the things that you enjoy. If you still like, you know, fucking 90s R&B and rap, then you fucking get your Damn little that shit, son. Yeah, you just fucking listen to it all goddamn day. Right. And if you do like the Migos and Lil Yachty and, and, and ASAP and everybody else, then you jam that shit. And that's the beauty of having the choice. Right, that's, right. that's what it is. But you can't only let the options be what the fuck you like. Right, right. And then be like, hey, y'all like it too or else, nigga. Like, no, like, Hey, I don't yeah. like you, little Yachty, but there's no reason for me to voice that shit on social media and then say that you're a liar and then not want you to make this money. I see you as a black man out here getting it, and you may be weird as fuck, but get that shit, bro. Right, right, for real. Yeah, yeah, most deaf, man. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you used to be a behavioral behavioral teacher, behavioral trainer, trainer. indeed. Yeah. Um, so there's a show called 13 reasons i i haven't watched it yet but mm-hmm. i see i've heard about it mm-hmm. about a girl who committed suicide because of stuff that has gone on in school i'm, I'm assuming she was being bullied right i'm assuming mm-hmm. if and i i was listening to another podcast where the guy's wife was a teacher at a school and they sent out this massive email saying hey there's a new show that is kind of being popular about a girl who committed suicide so we need you guys to be watchful Mm-hmm. of what's going you know of what right. may be going on right so how, how how would you deal with something like that if you've seen that type of email like what are things that you probably would look at as far as um different things kids kids are doing and what do you think parents should do if they know knew about a show like this um well i guess it would depend on the demographic as far as like what um what school age children that we were talking about i myself um did elementary school children so uh, I would think that children in that age bracket were too young to be watching that show, honestly, because it was it was pretty graphic. Yeah. But nowadays, I man. know, man, but I just there were some really graphic scenes. And uh, this is a spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen it. This is your time to stop listening. <laughs> but uh, basically, there were some really graphic scenes of like rape and, and um, like like not brutal rape. But I mean, mm-hmm. rape is pretty brutal, but. It was it was pretty graphic and um, multiple scenes of that and and then seeing suicide and and violence and guns and yeah. it just to me that's not something that children elementary aged should be watching yeah. but at the same time like you said kids are growing up so quick man you really I mean I, I'm not a parent but it seems like you can't even keep an eye on things anymore like you used to with right. the internet and phones and and LTE and all this other shit you, you can't because I know my son <laughs> and, and this this dang on YouTube thing sometimes he'll watch I guess stuff about Dragon Ball Z or whatever and then boom reviews. balls in his face and, well maybe <laughs> not so much balls but <laughs> Sometimes I'll like be doing laundry and I I hear, you know, them talking and I hear, man, what the fuck, man? I'm like, oh, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah, what yeah, are yeah. you watching? Right, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know, yeah, like, it is kind of hard to monitor sometimes. I can imagine because, I mean, we had parental controls or shit, one computer in the house when we were coming up. But now, mm-hmm. I mean, everybody's got a tablet, a computer and data. Right. I mean, you could look anywhere. You, it's just you can go to Walmart, I mean, McDonald's and have uh, Wi-Fi. And right, do your right. thing. I mean, if you want to beat off at McDonald's, that's, that's, <laughs> I don't know, but you can do it if you want to. Um, but yeah, so it's just, I I can't, (laughs) I can't really, uh, say that they need to monitor their children better. So, but I don't think that they should watch it. But with that being said, if they do watch it, um, it's real, man. It's real. Bullying is real out here. I mean, uh, I got made fun of not enough to make me want to kill myself, but you know, middle school was tough. I think middle school is tough for a lot of people. Um, but it, it was tough. Um, this girl in this uh, in this show though she was it it was just and i like the way they did it because they made the bullying so minute like such little things that we would look at and be like man she wasn't getting bullied all she had to toughen up you know Mm -hmm. like a guy 
a guy said like they they kissed and then he said they went all the way and he never like said what they did Mm -hmm. and people just insinuated and then she became like a hoe Mm -hmm. you know according to the school and like you know that's happened i mean i'm sure we could think of plenty of people i mean i remember in in high school somebody said because my thighs didn't touch i wasn't a virgin and i hadn't even (laughs) freaking had a french kiss yet Uh, you know uh, in high school yeah i won't i won't i won't put a name out there i remember who it was but anyway but she got about 15 kids now and she ugly but anyway (laughs) that's not it's neither here nor there but yeah so people got bullied and um i think that they put it in a real real uh, a realistic perspective and said that she wasn't out here getting Columbined, you know, no offense mm-hmm. to anybody, but she was, she was going through some hard times and it was just like time after time after time to where she was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You know? Right. And then when she got raped, that was the end of it. Mm-hmm. She was like, I just, there's, I can't be broken any further. Right. And mental health is real and, and mental illness is real. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that some people are built tougher and some people could go through a rape and get their life together and be like, Hey, you know, that doesn't break me. <clears throat> and some people that's enough to make you be like, I don't, I don't want to live anymore. Yeah. So I think that it was real. So if your child just so happens to see it, there is a realistic message there. Um, uh, and, and I think it, it, it's one that needs to be said because bullying isn't just you get getting, you know, shook up after school and getting your ass beat and going home and your parents yeah. see a black eye. Bullying can be peop- a girl saying that you're not a virgin anymore. I never understood bullying because, well, I, I never, I never got bullied, mm. and so that's why sometimes when I be hear when I hear stuff about kids being bullied, bullied, I, I question like how, why? I mean, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm not like I wasn't, I wasn't really popular, but I knew people, mm. so I never got bullied. Maybe because I knew people and I was cool with everybody. Mm-hmm. But it was always so weird for me to understand how someone gets bullied because in order to get bullied, you you have to allow that person that power. And I never allowed people to have that power. I felt like if it got to that point where it, it could become someone bullying me, I defended myself. Mm-hmm. And I think I think that's as a parent, I don't encourage my son to fight. Mm-hmm. You know, if you could avoid fighting someone, avoid it. If you got to. I don't care if you got to tell the teacher, the principal, whoever. But if you got to fight in order to, you know, avoid being bullied, do it. Because I feel like when someone is when, when the kid is being bullied, someone is, is doing something small as far as maybe like picking on them, calling them names. And then it escalates to now they're maybe pushing them mm-hmm. to stealing money from them. So now they know they have full power over that child Mm -hmm. so i i I myself personally think me as a parent i i don't encourage my son to do violence but i rather him fight someone one time to avoid going through years of being bullied Mm -hmm. than to just sit back and do nothing and go through it but see that's the thing though i feel like people who are bullying or people who are making fun of people or or whatever they're not doing that to people who will stand up for themselves you know um that's why you have to encourage your child to just but you can't you you can't know that your child is going to be that person a lot of that to me like for instance if i use myself for example I was getting made fun of in middle school. I was getting bullied in middle school. I was like, hey, mom, like, hey, my stomach hurt. I don't want to go just because I didn't really want to go because I didn't want to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Now, was I getting my ass beat? No. But was I being called flat back? I'm skinny for those who don't know. Yes. <laughs> was I being called uh, flamingo? Yes. You know, like, and that yeah. may be small to you, but that was hurtful for me because when everybody else walk around here with titties and ass, you know, you like, hey, bro, when's it, when, when do I get to develop? <laughs> you know, so that is a little hurtful. And um, as much as my mom or dad may have been like, hey, man up and be like, I'm cuter than all y'all. Or, well, my grades are good. Or a teacher, hey, they talk about my titties or my lack thereof. You know, like yeah. as much as they may have told me to do that, it wasn't in my personality then. Right, right. You know, I feel like a lot of that, it comes, you, you mature. Mm-hmm. And you're sure. like, you know what? Like when you're on the job, you know, no, you're not going to talk to me that way, bro. Like this is what's not going to happen today. Right. And I've become that person. But when you're all of 11, 10, 9, 16, whatever, you, I don't know what it is, but the school is like, God, it's scary as shit for some people. And I wasn't able to to tell people, leave me alone or, you know, I, I didn't have no no good comebacks. You know, they was right. like, hey, shut the fuck up, flat back, you'll no titty ass. I was like, 
<laughs> okay, you know, like I didn't have anything to say back to that, you know. So, and I, I think we need to, aside from teaching our children to stand up for themselves, I think the bigger thing is to teach people to be nice to each other. Like, fuck, like just fucking be nice. Like, right. I now don't get me wrong. Can there be a little bit of like, you know, some cracking, some you know, shit like that? Yeah, right. but. We got to teach pe- like our kids, like, don't be that person. Like, don't be that person that takes it too far. Don't be that person that hurts people. Right, right. That's not cool. So but I think that's, like, the 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 better way to teach rather than, hey, fight if you have to, which I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But I do think that we should teach, like, just fucking be nice. Like, chill. Like, you're fucking 10. Why the fuck are you being an asshole? Why do you have asshole tendencies at 10 years old? Like, you just hit double digits, nigga. Like, you're not allowed to be an asshole Well, yet. I mean, when, 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 when you got to listen to, to, like, I don't mean to call them out, but like you listen to like Kodak and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Where it's Fuck like, that. I was listening to some ratchet ass shit, and I was nice as hell. So do do you think it's more of a personality thing? Because again, I I I'm not saying I was like the most popular dude in the world or anything like that, but I I mean kind of like if you really think about it and maybe it was just our school but think about it like because you know we went to the same high school. Mm-hmm. Think about all the people that were assholes. What the fuck are they doing now? Like honestly true, true. so maybe it is a personality thing maybe it is like they say like if a nigga's jealous unhappy doesn't come from a good household like they they lash out yeah. so maybe if you think about it everybody that i can think of that was mean in middle school and high school well not really high school because i was that nigga no i'm just kidding y'all <laughs> i'm just kidding but i was more of that nigga than middle school mm-hmm. but um for me for the people that were mean to me in in middle school that they, they really wasn't they're not doing shit now like they're True. you know like not doing anything that's worth mentioning i guess and that goes for anyone like that. they're just not in a good place and I think about all the people that were very nice to me or quiet or just nice people. Like when you think about your fucking SGA president or some shit, they weren't assholes. SGA president. Who the fuck was ours? I don't know who was ours. I just remember Brantley was the one underneath us. Remember Brantley? Yeah, I remember him. Be docked. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> he was, and he was nice and he's doing shit with himself, you know? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you have, you have the ones that, that do and don't, you know, but I don't know. I never, you know, whenever people talk to me about the whole bullying thing, I never understood it. Because, I mean, well, some people do, dog. Some people's out here getting bullied, dog. I mean, and that's why I say because, like, when 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 they tried me in a way where either, I mean, I mean, I guess you know, I could kind of crack, so I cra- I could crack, yeah. I could crack enough to get me by. But if they got to the point where they try to take my money or they try to like put their hands on me, I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, bro, we gonna have to settle this right but now. But you know what? I think girl bullying. I mean, I I would assume, and from especially what you're saying compared to what i experienced i think girl bullying and boy bullying is probably different. different yeah I was, how so nobody ever was like bitch give me your money dog it wasn't like oh, that right niggas was just like females are fucking mean dog like i think y'all y'all do more of that whole gang up thing that, to compare to dudes we just we yeah. it stays one-on-one for the most part and rarely did i ever hear about a bitch wanting to fight me like it wasn't like hey fight me bitch it was more just like one like I what one girl I feel like it was this was this might have been ninth grade I think I said I was saying something about like having like some gum or some shit and mm-hmm. I don't remember and she was like well, wouldn't it be a shame if that gum was all in your pretty ass hair and we had to cut her shit off and I was like whoa 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 <laughs> yeah but like that's the type like women were just for what they were just mean but again uh, I just think it's the way you raise your kids because there was also a lot of really nice girls you know right. and and just girls that didn't want to hurt but I think that we as women typically we do gut punch a little bit you mm-hmm. know worse than men do and yeah, then even the yeah, guys even the guys like when they made fun of you it, it hurt worse because then you were you know when you're fucking what 11 12 you know you just starting to get into your little feelings and shit and if a nigga's like oh i mean you get a little fucking note and be like bitch you ugly that that hurts you versus if <laughs> a, if a, i ain't have to worry about that shit cuz Nah, man. Hey, you hey. ain't. You wasn't fucking that damn near six it. feet tall, skinny as fuck nah, with big ass hair feet. and shit. Well, I had hair. I had a little weight to me, but I wasn't six feet. Oh, I ain't quite six feet either, but just tall hey. for a female. You know. These these bras love me. When you was in middle school, middle elementary, middle school, high school. What? Lucky you, dog. Hey, hey I, <laughs> lucky's blessed, baby, blessed. I was jacked till about 2012, 11, dog. <laughs> I was out here struggling. I'm still trying to find it. But you know why they love me though? Because you was a good guy. Because I wasn't waffle colored. I'm <laughs> hot chocolate, baby. 
Um, no women yeah. always love chocolate. True enough. True Damn enough. right. True, true enough. enough. True enough. I Absolutely. have. I have. I have one light skinned guy. Everybody else <laughs> been. <laughs> everybody know who that is. But other than that, I've always dated really dark skinned guys. Well, not really dark skinned, but black niggas. Darkness. Hey man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I had a quote. I was gonna say, "Once you go chocolate," but uh, it went south. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reason but, <laughs> 352 why Ant didn't become a rapper. Yeah. Cause. You know, I, I actually can rap. Can you? I actually, um. You know who can rap for real? Who? My mom. Yeah, right. I swear. She used to do freestyle battles. Bro, your mom is the <laughs> whitest black lady I ever met in my life, bro. Bro, my mom, whenever we get, like, we'll No, be, wait, 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 wait. Whitest black. I, no, no black, the blackest white, white woman, woman I ever met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. But um yeah, my mom used to do like freestyle battles, like you know, like in like you know, you think of like the seventies and eighties. He was like, "Yo, real for real? yeah." She used to do three. Like now, like if we'll be in the car chilling, like I'll just be being stupid and I'll like say something, and it's just start riding. Yeah, I mean, we haven't done that in years, but especially in high school, yeah, Bruh. She, she would jump on the beat, dog. Get that joint on Snapchat tonight, bro. I'm man. I probably have to get a little lit to do it now. It's been some <laughs> years, man. Especially now, this was before Snapchat, so she would just do shit freely because she was. Right just by herself but now man my little sisters be throwing mom up on snap all the time so she's real cautious oh for real yeah man Damn. she'll turn around you she'll be cussing somebody i turn around you recording me oh shit yeah but um fuck where was i going with that point my mama being black no wait <laughs> <laughs> um so i, I know you're, you're you're not a speaking of celebrate man What's we that? still haven't talked about damn What's Sunday, that? oh man! Uh, I was well. It's it's on you, not not us. You was you was man. You was gone, bro. bro. I was so. Li- but what do you do when you graduate? Right? Isn't that what you do? Yeah. Why not? Right. I but I did not see it. I mean, first off, I don't think I paid for. Uh, I paid for a round of shots. That's it. And we was yeah. literally out all day. Shout out to my dog aunt and whoever else paid for my drinks. I just remember you, and then my cousin <laughs> paid for my brunch. And I don't remember nothing. Else. I don't remember who else paid for stuff. Man, bro, you was you was gone, dog. Man, I was so gone. I don't even. I don't. I don't remember the last time I've been that lit, man. Well, you got to do that, man. Graduation, especially from college. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Is <laughs> um, it was a, it was a celebration. It's a great thing, man. Yeah. Not 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 too many people accomplish that that goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bitch doesn't make fun of me in elementary school, middle school and <laughs> shit. Where they at? Where they at, though? Ah, uh, throwing shade, cup. <laughs> JK, not really. But, um, yeah, man, it is it is an accomplishment. And I was out here just trying to enjoy myself. But one drink turned into, like, I couldn't even tell you how many I had. But it was a really good time. And, you know, I was with people that I trust yeah. and I love. And uh, I was good. Like, I literally, like, you know, sometimes the next day you be like, fuck, what did I do? Mm-hmm. Man, I was with people I love. We was in a place that wasn't like we was in like it wasn't even nobody over there on the side that we was on, right? No, nah, we was. It was just like so our own little private party, so I could have done the most embarrassing shit, and it would have been fine because I was with my niggas and my dogs, man. But did you wake up with a hangover though? Um, yeah, I woke up at seven, and I was, oh. and I and we was going to Miami, and I woke up at seven, and we were supposed to be going at eight, and I was like, no way, Word. and yeah, and um, but thankfully. Shout out to Dr. Whomever. I don't know the name on that prescription pill, but I have some uh, some tension headache medicine. It's prescription strength. It's mm-hmm. Fluoroset. I don't even know if I should be saying that shit. Whatever. Why not? Because I feel like I'm abusing it. Like I'm over here pill popping animal or some shit. But, Man, get there, <laughs> but yeah, some Fluoroset, some prescription strength, uh, tension headache medicine. And I popped one of those. I don't know how many milligrams, whatever the fuck it is. But I went back to sleep and I woke up and... I was living my life like it's golden. I felt <laughs> fine. I felt so good. I literally was like, yes. I felt like, you know, that's like the best accomplishment when you wake up from a night. I didn't hardly even eat anything out of water in sight. What? And and I told you, I told, I think I told you cousin to make sure you drink some water. Bro. I think I, she said I drank a little bit of water, but uh-huh. bro, it was nothing in comparison to how much I drank alcohol yeah, wise. Right. So to wake up and be good, like good. I was so happy. And then I was like, fuck, cause then. My man was mad at me, so. Well, he has the right to be mad, but he has to. He should also know that, hey, man, you only you graduating. Yeah. You got you got to turn up. Yeah, but so. if he think that's bad, he got to wait. For this nurse practitioner shit. Oh, I'm about to be. 
Woo. I just need you to be ready. We're gonna be we're gonna be a little old. Then you still gonna be down to hang when we that old. Uh, by the time you graduate <laughs> from that, Lord willing, Lord willing, <laughs> I'll probably be married. Well, tell her ass to come too. Oh yeah, cause we turn up. She better be fun too. And I swear for God, if Bruh. you get a girl and she not cool, I'm gonna be so sad what because <sighs> dog, listen, I'm gonna man. be so sad. Like every, you know, you missed it, but um. Our, our other homie came down here. We saying names on here? Why not? Okay. Ace, RJ, shout out to my dog. He came down here. You know, Ace, RJ, yeah. whatever you want to call him. Now he got a kid and shit. He can't be RJ. But um, he came down here. With our, our senior? We could call him that. R S. RS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he came down here with his wife. And uh, I've hung out with her once. Well, once and a half before. We only, we only, only, we're not going to count the first time. That wasn't that. I didn't get to know her very well. Mm-hmm. Second time was cool. But this time, I, you know, you kind of have, have to get a little test run. Like, okay, that was my test run. Now I mean to solidify it. Yeah. And she was cool. And then I was happy because I was like, all right. She's cool because we went out. And it was my first time like going out with both of them. And I could still really vibe with RJ and uh, mm-hmm. Ace, whatever. And like chill with him. And it was just like old times, except we had one more friend. You know, it was like, hey, we got somebody else here. Mm-hmm. And that's what I would hope for you. You know, like. Absolutely. You, what you mean, hope? I mean, because you, you never know, dog. You can get you a little homebody, dog. And, boy, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't be with a homebody person. Yeah. I have to be with someone that's. That's willing to just do things. True that. You know, different things, travel, hang out. Yeah. And, you know, t- I mean, not wish you always be hanging out to yeah. the bar with us. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, that's fine because you got to have some separate time. Yeah. You, you know? know what I'm saying? But yeah, she got to be cool with the homies and, yeah. and, and and all that good stuff. So yeah, she going to. Now, will she turn up? I, I mean, I don't I know. I mean, and, that, and she don't have to like get lit AF or nothing like that. Right. Somebody got to drive this bitch home, right, you know, for but. Real. Um, I just want to be able to like vibe and then her not because you know it, we already know the stigma and how weird it can be when you have a, a male or female whatever the opposite for you as best friend mm-hmm. that shit can be hard yeah. and when you bring someone new in mm-hmm. it's even harder because then they're coming in to like old territory and yeah. I feel like bitches and, 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 and niggas be like man like you know kind of like mm-hmm. not cool with that right but so you have to have somebody who's cool with it like my boyfriend for instance psh- you here now you know tell him i said hey you know like it's cool so i i would just hope that your lady would be cool with that too because you know i've been blessed that all of my guy friends who have gotten girls you know after me or whatever uh we're we're cool with it you know shout out to shanique you know what i'm saying shout out to elaine you know so uh, all right so since we're on this sub topic right so for people out there who um obviously in a relationship Mm -hmm. with someone how how do you deal with for you your boyfriend being cool with your male friends because typically nowadays right typically dudes aren't really cool with their lady hanging out with their right. male friends like that like me sometimes we hang out and it's just us two mm-hmm. right so a typical typically most men would be like that's kind of weird bro like, yeah. why is she hanging out with this dude just mm-hmm. them too it's not like it's a group of them mm-hmm. so I mean, of course you know we have our background we've been right. cool for so long yeah and I'm, I'm cool with dave and i'm cool right. with his you know people in his yeah, crew yeah. and all that so what how, how did it work for you, for you guys as far as him being able to trust the fact that he's cool with me and you just hanging one-on-one type of thing um i just think it's a it's a, it, it's it's he just bred that way man he just always like he's never really been weird about it i mean and i and i applaud him for that because mm-hmm. i feel like i you know as hypocritical as it sounds like i don't know that i would be super duper cool with it if he had a bunch of girls that he was cool with and like literally like maybe not a bunch but like because you typically I have, have like three three four men. yeah well that are still here or that that he's been around three three that i'm still cool with you know mm-hmm. but even when even if i'm not like super cool super duper cool with them i mean you remember one time it was three niggas in my house. I remember when you, Brian, Chris came through, and was at, or, and, and uh, Dave was at work and came home, and boom, yeah. here's your lady in the house with three niggas. Like, right. that's just a secure kind of guy, right? Right. You know, so I, I think that on top, I think it's security. I think it's just it's security and it's trust, because mm-hmm. even I might have a little issue with that, but thankfully he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's just cool with it, and I think that we both realize that you need to have a life outside of each other, right? So we we definitely try to do that. Um. And I, I just, it's just security and uh, just 
comfort in 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 talking about it. And I think he first of all, and hey, you short nigga, like he he ain't worried. You know what I'm supposed to mean? <laughs> but hey, yeah, but for real though, all of y'all are short, bro. All of y'all. Listen, all five y'all. seven is a good height. A crit- it ain't really short. I, well, for the listeners, I'm five eight. So and Chris, what five six? What does height have to do anything? I just, I'm just saying, maybe he like I dated he I dated a girl it. a while back that was either she was six foot even or six like six one. Yeah, I dated a five six guy. Well, no, 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 no. He was like my height. He was probably five eight. But when I wore heels, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I felt like Morley Simmons in this joint, bro. Man, shut I up. was like, she, <laughs> you lucky to have me, dog. <laughs> Anywho, but I, I know me, me, me personally. If I was in his shoes. I don't know if I would be as calm as him. He is, man. I really can't. I could. You know, I, you, know you don't want to, like, brag about your man or anything. But, like, he's a good one, dog. No, wrong with bragging. I mean, but you got some I, good, that's you not, brag about that's not what we talking about right now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Um, But, like, he is a good one. And, and he, in, cer- in certain areas, he is very cool. And I'm like, damn, like, yeah. he's so chill. Like, he don't even. Um, right. And in other areas, I'm like, hey, bro, chill. You know, so it just right. depends on what the area is. Um, but in most areas, he's good. And thankfully, I think he just and I and I feel like we had a conversation in the beginning where I was like, hey, bro, most of my friends are guys. Right. And uh, that's just the way that it is. Like and I'm not that girl that's like, uh, you know, like I, I like guys better than girls, mm-hmm. man. I wish I had more girlfriends, dog. I do. But um, it just the girl, the, the guy, the guys have stuck around. Right. Y'all have been the guys that I'm cool with. I've been cool with for years. Right. Um, and. The girls that I was cool with fell by the wayside, mm. you know. And then it's just life, and I think that's the way the cookie crumbles for most. I've heard that before. Like a lot of women, or most women, they have more male friends than female friends. Yeah, but I don't like that stigma. I I want to have more girlfriends. I have one of my good friends is in Atlanta, and I tell, I mean, because she's still like most of my friends here. You know, like marry you know family life slowing yeah. down but my friend in atlanta you know she's still out here you know my roll dog kind Bugging of friend yeah and like i wish i had more girlfriends so i could like you know even though she's there if i had a friend here i'd be like hey bro you trying to like go to some ratchet ass club tonight she's like yeah. yeah but you know my friends here like ooh, no gotta take care of my child my husband whatever yeah. and that's cool but i do wish that i had a a, a, a bigger group of female friends mm-hmm. um but it's just guys are easier. And I don't mean that in the sense of females suck. Literally, guys are easier. I could stop talking to you for a, a month. Mm-hmm. And then you hit me up and be like, are you trying to go out? And I'm like, yeah. And then we literally don't even talk about the month. Mm-hmm. But that could be a female. And well, typically, we'll talk about what, what, what happened. Going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But with a female, man, uh, like mad that y'all haven't spoken in a month. You know, like, <laughs> right. well, what you been doing? Like, you know, or think that you did it purposely yeah. or whatever, you know. And then with guys, like, it's easy in the sense of that. And it's easy in the sense of, like, all right, take for instance, a couple of weeks ago, I was supposed to go out with some co workers just to go grab dinner. Mm-hmm. They canceled. Cool. But I have already gotten my whole day planned around this dinner. I'm not cooking. I don't get all my shit done. Mm-hmm. What the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to hit you up. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, Psh, all right, cool. I'll be there in an hour. Yeah. Again, love my female friends, but I hit my female friends up and it's a, a big ordeal. I got to get dressed. I got to get my kids situated. I got to mm. get my husband situated. I got my boyfriend. I got to do this. I got to do that. I wasn't ready. I washed my hair. Like, females are just harder. But, uh, uh, well, I mean, because in that scenario, when you when you mentioned me, because I'm single, so I mean, I could easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Chris, too. Ready. Okay, yeah, I was about Chris to say, I was about to ask married. that. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask that because I was like, you know, with me, if you hit me up, you, you know, if it's like five o'clock, but you want to hang out at eight. It's nothing for me to, you know, drop my, you know, get my son situated, drop mm-hmm. him off, throw some on, whatever. But yeah, I was gonna ask with Chris because I know Chris, you know, married and he a child, your yeah. wife is okay. Yeah, he has a kid too. Yeah, like I've never had an issue with that either. If I hit up Chris, he's like, hey, you know, cool, yeah, let's do it, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and there may be an hourly way in there to get situated, but other than that, it's cool. But with females, it's difficult. Or if I'm like, for whatever reason, a, I'm feeling like beach him tonight. For right. whatever reason, I know I could probably. You're the person I could be like, "Hey, bro, come with me." And you may talk shit, but you'll probably be like, nah. after about two or three drinks, I'm yeah, like, you know what? Fuck it, you know. Right. But I could, I, you, I couldn't do that with my girlfriends, mm. you know. Or some of the the places that we've gone, like you know, some of the things that I've been like, especially when I was single, I was like, "Hey, I want to try this place. Let's go." Mm-hmm. Like it was either you or my friend in Atlanta who I could do that with, you know. Yeah. But a lot of uh, it's just it's not it's not that easy with most women that I've noticed. It's not that easy with most women. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
y'all don't have anything against them. It's just a the men have stood the test of time, yeah, and they're just easier. Like it's if you have two people on your phone line and one of them you know was gonna say yes and the other one you're not sure of, you just end up calling the one that's gonna say yes for sure. True. And that's just how it's happened. And it doesn't. And I'm still very close with the female friends. It's just the ones that have stuck around have been the guys. And I and thankfully my boyfriend understands that. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I always kind of wonder. Well, not really wonder that, but I guess for people that's listening, mm. like how do you guys deal with it? Because I've I I kind of wondered at one time. Like I wonder if he's. I wonder if he ever gets a little uncomfortable. If me and you hang out one on one, like if he's at work, yeah, and me and you go downtown, hang out, have some drinks, because of course when you when you include, you know, male female together, yeah, drinks are involved. Mm-hmm. You, Who knows how much you're gonna drink, right? Like, and I'm at work, mm-hmm. you don't know if they're going to be going get wasted and right. coming to the house right. and blah 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 blah. So how how do you guys um, establish that kind of comfortness? Because I know, like I said, with me, I don't know if i would be as comfortable like what dave is yeah you know i and but then again we don't really do it every weekend type of no, thing yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. still oh uh, I, I i mean you'd probably have to ask him that because he's just that cool with it i yeah. mean he's never seemed weird that i can remember about it um and maybe it was because I mean, from get go, you nipped it in the bud. From literally the from get go, and it's not like I like I will. I honestly, some of the guys that have come later on, like Dave was like, no new friends, no new oh, friends. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know, you've seen. Yeah, he was around some of the newer yeah, friends yeah, that came yeah. along, some of the newer male friends, yeah. and I think Dave was like, no, nah, because he he thought and maybe correctly maybe assumed, too. yeah, or correctly assumed that it wasn't just friendly with with them or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, so yeah, so those friends, he definitely, he said something about, it, and Dave's very vocal. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if there would have been an issue with y'all, he would have said something. Um, but yeah, he's never, I mean, he just real cool with it. I mean, like even when I was telling about the brunch, he was like, Hey, the guy's coming. I was like, Oh no, they're going to come afterwards. He's like, Oh, okay. I was going to say you ain't invite them. Uh, like he's just very accustomed to it. I think that's, that, that's the problem. Like a lot of, a lot of, um, people that when they first talk, they don't, they try to hide certain things. Right. So it doesn't mess up their chances of being yeah. with that person. Like yeah. I was, I was hanging with someone today, and we we had a pretty good conversation. You know, we talked, but the one thing that we talked about that was pretty dope, I think, was when we was talking about more about like religious type stuff, mm-hmm. religious spiritual things, and we both said our piece. We wasn't trying to sugarcoat nothing to, uh, you know, please the other person and what we think and try to. Um, brainwash that person to hey this is what I think you should think that too it was like this is what I think she was like this is what I think and it was a nice little conversation and so be it mm-hmm. you know what I mean I'm, and I'm not trying to say that we're gonna like manifest the situation but hypothetically speaking if we were to try to man- manifest the situation I already know where she's at mm-hmm. she already knows where I'm at so mm-hmm. there's no sugar coating compared to nowadays a lot of people they try to say what the other people person wants them want. here yeah and yeah. sugarcoat it um i'm trying to think who was it It was a comedian it was i think it was chris rock was it chris rock yes i think it was i'm thinking about his face but uh chris rock said it wanted his stand up it was i'm bigger and blacker was that chris rock i think so i was listening yeah. to a podcast they yeah. brought him up i, th- I, I think, think so. yeah, yeah yeah okay well he had a uh in his um stand up he said um you're not meeting some when you first meet someone you're not meeting them that's their representative mm-hmm. and then i yeah, he got he got chris rock and you don't look like that you don't <laughs> smell like that right. you ain't that tall and it's true and you meet somebody you see your female she got on makeup she you know the guy he, he's all he's cleaned he's spiffy and he mm-hmm. comes to pick you up you open the door for you and those things may or may not continue but for the most part they don't and you get right. to re- meet the real person so when you first meet someone yeah man this guy looks super purple today oh yeah you thought you think so that is purple (laughs) yeah you know i never thought about that weirdo yeah and then you get into a relationship and you're like you a dumbass motherfucker that's blue as fuck you stupid you know that's how it is though that's how relationships are and Mm -hmm. um you know every relationship is guilty guilty of that i am as well in ours um but i i think that from the very get-go it was no i mean especially when i was single we was having handouts like every weekend Mm -hmm. and i wasn't about to change that up because i got into a relationship you know I'm still hanging out with these people. And I think right. that was now. And I, and when I said earlier that I would have, I don't know if I would be as uh, open to him having as many female friends. Mm-hmm. I think that that plays right into what you just said, because that wasn't happening in the beginning. Right. So if Dave 
all of a sudden was like, I'm cool with Stephanie, Tiffany, Keisha, Louis. What did DMX say? <laughs> uh, that nigga made so many on, names. I, I don't know, remember, I about that. <laughs> about three Kims. But yeah, if he did that, then yeah, I would probably be like, nah, nigga, that's not what's going to happen right now. Right. It would be uncomfortable for me um, because it's new. But if much like he did with I, like I did, if he was like, hey, these are my friends. And I just saw it from the very beginning and knew nothing happened in the years that they was cool before me. Right. I'd be cool with it. So what if, what if he had four specific female friends that he was just cool with? From the beginning. From the beginning, before right. he even came into, his, into the picture. Right. But one of them Uh-oh. he had sex with dun, dun, dun. a few times. Oh, no no all right since uh, you did that let's yeah. say let's say two times I, you know but you gotta be careful with that shit man because especially if you're talking about i mean i'll put but, it like but they, okay let's say oh. they, they did it two times oh, and uh. it's been like three like three years ago okay but i just i don't know man because i think about my 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 shit i'm not cool with nobody that i've ever banged in the past why not I mean, cool, like, I mean, if I see him, what up, dog? But not, like, besties going out. out. No. Are you? Uh, like, legit cool like friends cool. with, like, me and you friends. Mm, no. I don't think that, like I mean, that. and I'm not saying it's not possible, but I'm saying it's not likely. Because yeah. even, like, if you had some shit in the past where, like, y'all but, was talking, niggas still get a couple drinks in and be like, hey, dog. But, but you see, Okay. The re- I, I hear where you're coming from. I think the reason why I'm not cool with them like that is because a lot of times, I, I as a typical man, I don't let my emotions get too involved. Right. If I don't really like you on that level. Okay. And they do. Mm-hmm. So for me, it, it'll happen. And I'm, and I'm like, hey, let's go hang out. But they're more like trying to get with me. But even then, okay, so let's say, all right, so I'm not the crazy female with these guys that I've, that, that I've, I've had a past with. But still, like, once you already have that history and then maybe the drinks get flowing or maybe your man make you mad. I don't know how the shit goes, but I just think it's more likely. No? Nah. Nah. Because even the ones, even women that I've had sex with in the past and they wanted to hang out, like legit hang out, and we just got crazy drunk. You wouldn't try him? Come on, dawg. You wouldn't try him? Not if I know. No, no. I'm about to hit you with the the, the Jamaican sucked of the teeth. I would would only if they told me no emotions involved. But if I I knew after we had sex again that emotions are going to evolve again, probably not. I don't like dealing with that shit, Okay, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about friends. You got a lady and... It doesn't matter if she says no emotions involved or not. If she hits you with, we got some past and he want you want some of this old thing back, I feel like it would be a little hard to resist. No? No. Nah, not me. I can't I mean, speak I guess for other dudes. So is me. new vagina, right? Somebody hit you with some new vagina, that'd be hard to resist too. Well, that's new. They say ain't nothing better than it. Ain't nothing, nothing, nothing. Shut up. Why do I have a song reference for everything? Everything, that right? Because you, 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 you feeling yourself. Because you're hearing yourself on the mic. That's what it is. Mic check. One, two, one, two. You want beep with this? Bro, you've been singing the T.I. shit all day. Because, I, I mean, I got the mic in my hand. I just feel like I should. You feel like you should be a rapper, don't you? I do. Well, as crazy as this sounds, it's been um 54 minutes. 54? These joints do, they never feel like. No, they don't feel that long. They never feel that long, dog. No. It feels like we've probably been, been recording for like 30. 30, yeah. Ima- imagine minutes. if we had some real, real drinks. I mean, you had a little bit. A little bit. I had a lot of nothing. But uh, next episode, my dog Zabo will be back in the building. Okay. And of course, we definitely got to get you back in the building. I hope I was a decent substitute. You were a good substitute. Well, I I'll be glad to uh to lend uh, my voice. Of to absolutely. You. So. But yeah, man, it was fun. I had a good time, and yeah, man. Well, next time we gonna have to get some stuff. Uh, we gonna have to get some. We gonna. Have to, I don't know, but we just can't go off the top. Yeah, yeah. Because this was straight off the top. Yeah, we definitely went off the top. Uh, that's where Zabo comes in with the good old topics. <laughs> Right, right, right. Zabo comes in with the great topics and we just go with the flow. True that. But um until next time, people. Oh, so how can they find you? 
Turricane, aka uh, Tiff, aka I just got my bachelor degree. Hey, hey, I'm gonna change my at name to that. What? At I just got my bachelor degree. No, because what if like two years from now, what are you gonna do? Change it to I just got this motherfucking master's, <laughs> bitch. Um, Ten years from now, what are you gonna change it to? I'm working and <laughs> maybe married with some fucking kid head ass bitch. Um, okay, what am I? Uh, we talking about what Instagram snapping on it? What's the um? What's the snap? Snap is a uh, hurricane. Like hurricane with a T though, uh, T U R R I C A N E, um, and then uh, on Instagram, yeah, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, it's uh, Turricane, same way, T U R R I C A N E, but with an underscore. Hey, and what's the? You want to follow you on Facebook? Mm, that's too personal. That, I mean, you could, but I guess a little professional on there, you know. That's when I look like I'm an angel. Hey, that's for the family and friends and the church folk. Hey, so we definitely will not be giving. Yeah, you, the last you don't name. want that. You want. I'm not that. gonna give you the last name on on, on the Facebook so they nah, can follow you. No, nah, it's not fun on Facebook. If you want fun, then you go to the other one. Yeah, and yeah. really just Snap and Twitter because even Instagram, I'm starting to fall off on. Really? Yeah, man. Cause I mean, what the, how many pictures can you post? Like, how many tweets can you can you put? Nah, man. Tw- 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 is Twitter really popping again? I think it is, dog. Everybody keeps saying like it doesn't die, like Twitter died. But I get on there and niggas is still making me laugh, like Word. legit. That's why I get on. Like Instagram is cool. Like, all right, yeah, your kids are cute. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah you and your man cute. Like, oh yeah, 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 you you just decorated your living room cute, nice. But man, on fucking Twitter. Shit, the meme central. Uh, it's just too funny. Too funny. Well, let's get back on Twitter. Yeah, you got to get on Twitter. I've been telling everybody. Everybody's like, you're old. I'm like, my sisters are on it. Like, it's yeah. fun. So Twitter then became like Facebook. Facebook fell Facebook off. Facebook fell the fuck off. They fell off hard. Facebook was like, no. And it like threw his hand out of the grave and shit. And that shit just came back like. Legit, it did. That shit came back like snapbacks. But you know what I think it is too, though. You know why I think it came back? Why? Because it ain't. It ain't come like my sisters. I, I base everything off my sisters because they're young. Sisters mm-hmm. are ten years younger than us. They are not on it. Facebook had fell off because there was old people on it. I uh, think we have become the old people on Facebook. <laughs> I swear to God, if you look at some of the statuses that are uh, the shit, the high school people went that um we went to high school with. Uh-huh. Look at their they have become the old people we used to make fun of, dog. Are we the motherfuckers that be taking them little close ass selfies Self, as bro, they're like? I think our selfie game is a little better, but that we are the same person. Oh, yes, shit. we are the same. Some of them statuses, bro. Don't ask me what time Walmart opens, nigga. Somebody post that shit? Bro, they be posting some dumb ass shit. I swear we getting old. And I don't, I mean, uh, we can get old, but can we do it with grace and style? I mean, <sighs> bro, let's be real, dog. I mean, we're about to be 30 next year. True. As crazy as that sounds. But 30 is not that motherfucking old. It's to not be, old Don't act all. like, they acting like the... Okay, remember when Facebook was only for college students? Yeah. And they remember when you just needed a fucking email, yeah. not even an EDU. And then remember when all the 47, 50 year old, 55 year old motherfuckers got on it? Yeah. Okay. That is what our 30 year old people are becoming. Why at 29, 28, 27, 30 are you the 47 year old nigga that was trying to slide in Facebook DMs back in 05? No, I wasn't 05. Well, we'll say 2000, what, 8, 9? Why are you that? And that's what we are becoming. And that's why I will not give my Facebook out because I am not that old yet. True that. So follow me on fucking Twitter and Snapchat. And, Snapchat. and um, so you got Turricane stuff. So of course, you know me, gentlemen. At, um, Do you know that's your name? <laughs> <laughs> at, um... Find no, ant cause at, you, um... Because your, your cat threw me off. Like, man, what the fuck are you doing, dog? She's um, so cute. Anyway, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, gentlemen, G X N T L E M A N. <laughs> gentlemen with the second letter is with an X. Yes, yes. One word, no spaces. One word, no space, no underscore, no none of that. And, and for the next part, Cass, whenever we whenever y'all have me back, we're gonna talk about why you came up with that name. I don't wanna know now. No. Don't I, I want to? I wasn't going to explain it, oh. but I did. I did explain it on episode one, which I don't remember hearing it on there, or maybe two. Then I didn't hear two. Oh, well, you going to tell me again? Okay. I'll explain it to the people, and also shout out to the good folks over at bloggers dot com, which is b l x g g e r s dot com for sponsoring and hosting this podcast, which will. 
one day be the best mother freaking podcast in the world. And I'm going to say it. it's going to be the best motherfucking <laughs> podcast in the world. I'll, I'll curse for the both of us. Yes, please do. So, again, thanks to Tur Kane, a.k.a. Tiff, a.k.a. I just received my bachelor's degree for stepping in for Zabo. Yeah. For the day. But, um, yeah. All right, then. Peace. We just sign. Like, how do we sign off? Like, signing off. This is Tur Kane signing off. Nah, bro. That's gay as fuck that's fucked up don't say that that is anyway <laughs> uh signing off this is turricane peace <laughs>